Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the science behind the friction erasable pens. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a pilot friction pen or any kind of pen that has erasable ink. And I'll show that in the description where I got mine. So here's the friction pen with the erasable ink that I'll be using. There's multiple different kinds out there. I just happen to be using the pilot. Um, I'm going to do four different experiments. Uh, this one I'm going to make a grid and then I'm going to uh, save you from watching me do the entire grid and we'll come back when I finish it. So I just finished uh, making the little graph here all over the paper with the erasable ink. Uh, we're going to have five different experiments starting off with a microwave. Experiment number one is to heat without the rotating plate. So we're going to turn it upside down. Well, the rotating plate helps even out where the food gets cooked. So now it's not rotating. So we're going to be able to see with this experiment what actually cooks. So this was for 10 seconds. And you can see there's just a couple spots here and there. But it's not really evenly cooking out the food. So I'll circle these so we know which parts were already done. Uh, because I'm going to put it back into the microwave at 20 and at 30 seconds. But I will just show you the results of the 30 seconds so I'll set it here for 30 seconds and go ahead and you can see there's it's right there um, and it's sp still like back and forth everywhere so you can see that it's not um, uh, cooking evenly and it's not cooking the food at all so we'll do one more test we're going to do one minute so it'll be a little over a minute 30 here um, and you can see it starts to cook the middle a little bit but it's not evenly cooking the food. The, the microwave radiation waves are just kind of going everywhere because the plate is not moving. So um, it, did, it did cook the food um, in certain areas. You can see where the ink has disappeared, but it's not cooking it evenly. So we will go to experiment number two where I'm going to uh, uh, put the plate back in so it's going to rotate this time so we will see um, how that uh, takes the ink I did another sheet here and uh, put it in and I'm going to start with 30 seconds this time instead of doing 10 seconds and so we'll do 30 seconds in the microwave and turn it on and I'll save you the time there and I'll come back to it now and open it up and look uh, it's cooking from the outside it almost made a complete circle and in the middle which is pretty cool look at that so this is 30 seconds i just went uh, straight on the 30 and it took out a lot of the ink and you can see the rotating plate really helps on how the food uh, actually gets cooked so now we're going to do one more experiment with this so we will you can see the difference there at the top uh, not being the rotating so we'll do it one more minute now rotating plate and uh, we'll see what comes up and <laughs> look at that a minute 30 and only the outside edges is touched uh, which is pretty impressive so it actually cooked almost everything compared to the top here where um, it doesn't rotate and you can see that it doesn't evenly cook so experiment number three is now we're going to write out kids fun science everybody's favorite uh, YouTube channel right anyway we're going to use a hair dryer so with the heat uh, just by using the hair dryer and pushing it on, you can see that it, it, from a distance, it's going to take all the ink. Now, I found it kind of interesting that it came back. So if the ink is still kind of wet and I didn't dry it enough, it still comes back immediately. But if you go over it again like this, you see it completely disappears and there's absolutely no ink. And that's with the hair dryer. Experiment number four. So I'm going to write out Kids Fun Science here. And I'm going to use the tip of the pen, which is just a piece of hard plastic. And if you rub against it, you cause friction, which it makes creates heat and it erases the ink, which is pretty cool. So I tried to do it with my finger and I rubbed, I had to rub really, really hard, but I was able to create heat uh, with my finger. Um, it started to burn a little bit, so um, it wasn't fun, but I was able to erase the last part of the words uh, just with my finger making friction. Pretty cool. Fifth and last experiment is to reappear the ink in the freezer. Experiment number five. So um, it's pretty incredible um, that you could put it in the freezer and have it because of the temperature drop so much, the ink will reappear. Um, so there it is. There's nothing really there in about 30 minutes, but on the top part with the ice, 
all the lines came back, which is pretty incredible that it's all back there. And you can see my ink. So I switched it up on top and you can see all the words there. Kids Fun Science, like, share, subscribe. Um, it's pretty cool. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you share and I will see you on my next video. Hello? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, you're asking about Kids Fun Tech? Yeah, we have videos right there and right there and right there and right there. And I'm pointing at the videos. Ugh. Well, we have like those videos over here and those videos over here. Okay, fine, hang up.